Hello everybody. My name is John Ramirez and this is John Marir Ramirez surviving in the wilderness. In this series, which will be broadcasted on TV, I will be surviving in this wilderness with no food, no supplies, nothing. But just my machete and iron axe. So let's get to it. And here we enter the wilderness. Now, in the wilderness we may encounter some very, very unfriendly creatures, such as spiders, skeletons, zombies, and even the most feared of all, giants. But that is very rare, and no one, no one has ever seen to live and see one. But in the case that we may get hurt or damaged or painified, I have no idea how to describe it in words. Please, viewers at home, do not be alarmed. I am a trained professional professional and I know how to take care of these animals such as this one here this little chicken chicken in the forest yes these things can be used for arrows and bows we can attack him but I think he has spotted us and we should not attack. We should just retreat and save it for another day because first thing we need to do is gather some resources. So let me show you how to chop down a tree efficiently. Chop the bottom trunk off first. Chop the next and the next and the next, because in this world, the laws of physics are different. What is that? See that there? I just picked up a sapling from the tree itself. This can be used to gather other saplings and make other trees. Now let us get back to mining this tree. Now, these trees are simple and easy to mine. Other trees may be much harder for as this one. Now, this may require some very strong manpower. And this chicken really is intimidating me. Bugger off. So, this tree will not collapse, which is good, because then we can easily mine it. Chopping down the trunk is the very most important thing. Always chop down the trunk first. Never go for the access branches, because they may be frustrating and a waste of your energy. The best wood is in the middle. But in the wilderness, this wood is very, very different. It's more mossy, which means we may need to clean it off before we can make it into planks. Now, I will show you how to make it into planks. Take your machete and start chopping the wood. If we throw down some there. And pick it back up accidentally. Chop it slightly. And voila, we have our wood. Now, I'm sure you do not want to watch me chopping a bunch of wood down. Therefore, let's go exploring a bit and see what our landscape is. Follow me. Try to keep up. This river could be very useful for drinking. It's, it's good that it does not link up with the sea. A lot of piggies here. Could use some good meat right now, but I better not. I need to get my shelter built. Some nasty dark mud here. Don't know what Bo can do about that. Maybe use it as a material. Ah, here we go. 
You see this here? This is a smoking mushroom. These funky things are amazingly powerful in strength. I will show you more about them later on though. Because for now, we need to just continue on in the wilderness. What was that? Be careful cameraman. And Piggy. I can hear a zombie. It's getting closer. Keep an eye out. But what is good is we found some papyrus. Or bamboo. Whatever you prefer to call it. Use your machete to just chop this down. We can use it as, as a sort of defense and building material for our base. Also, plenty of mushrooms around. <sighs> Some fungal mushrooms. We can probably make ourselves a nice stew. Well, ration stew. Wow, there's a lot of zombies around here. Let's break around here, clear out this area. So we can possibly get a better view of the area. Now, I need to find that big tree we saw on our landing. Aha! I believe this is it. Stay here, cameraman. Oh, God. This is stronger than I thought. <laughs> this will be perfect for a build location. Try and climb up. Nice. This is going to be perfect for a nice shelter. I may start building construction here. Now, this is very important on building a decent shelter. Oh, sorry for that. A bee flew in the camera and messed it up slightly. But this is not of importance. If you notice, it is getting night and we must quickly build a shelter. Sorry if I sound too exaggerated. But it is very dangerous at night. Hopefully I will be able to ration my resources here. And be able to build a decent shelter. To manage to get around. Trying to use all this mud and wood that I've collected. Bollocks, the leaves are breaking. I can use some of this wood to break but to um, put them back together. Jeez. Ah, here we go. Nice fungi to watch here. Very nice, very nice. Try to seal up this shelter here. It looks like the roof is breaking. Try to build that up. This should be good enough for the hold for the night. But there's lots of mushrooms along here. Maybe I can use them. Blast, I can't get up there. Yeah. Grab it. Yes, got it. Looks like this place is going to get very dangerous. Well, I can't see anything spawning yet, appearing out of the darkness. But we should be good for now. But I'd get inside if I were you, cameraman. And I think I'll go into first person view here. Special camera on my eye here. And I'll bring it out. And I'll go with some hunting. You can stay here. And if anything goes wrong, just attack them with this axe. Good luck. And don't forget to crawl for help. I will see you in a bit. Finally, I found some good water. Oh, take a lovely sip of that. Tastes good. Let me get out of my bowl, which I made earlier with some of the tree bark. I can use it to scoop up some of this and save it for later. Maybe even make it into a stew. I would better hurry though. There's some monsters and stuff about. Don't have much time to talk. Sorry if I'm too fast paced. Now, I better get out of here. Following along this path. Hopefully, I won't get attacked. 
and hopefully the cameraman's still all right. I think I heard something. We'd better get inside. Seal this up here. Take this mushroom. Ugh. Seal this up. This is it. Big deal here. Our first night. This one's always the hardest to survive. I'm not that hungry at the moment. What about you? Well, yeah. Well, I'll get some mushroom stew in the morning. Or something that comes close to mushroom stew. I think we should turn the camera off for the night. And this rest. We'll see you folks in a minute. I think I saw something down there. Might be a creeper. See if you can have a look. Now the creeper. One of the most dangerous animals of the forest. Mm. Cameraman! Mash this up into bone meal. Oh, but Jesus Christ. Oh, God. You alright? Good, good. Well, we did get a lot of resources. And piggies. I don't really feel like that much. Oh, well, at least we didn't have to harvest the mushrooms. <laughs> Let's get some of these mushrooms out. Good thing we got that bone meal too. Oh well, that bone. We can mash it into bone meal. Make the stew taste a little better. Yeah. Also got some of this. Mossy stuff. You can use it to climb up. Oh, easier. Right. Let's go Let's head back to the base fortress camp, whatever you want to call it, wherever it is. <laughs>